स्टैंडर्ड सेवन जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर सेवन मोशन फोर्स एंड वर्क मोशन व्हाट इज मेंट बाय मोशन व्हाट कॉजेस अ चेंज इन मोशन ऑब्जर्व दिस पिक्चर्स वी कैन सी अ काउ इज ग्रेजिंग अ हॉर्स इज रनिंग एंड अ मैन इज पुलिंग अ कार्ट सो ऑल द थिंग्स इन दिस पिक्चर्स आर इन मोशन सो वॉट इज मोशन डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर इज कॉल्ड द मोशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट कॉजेस अ चेंज इन मोशन मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेस वेन अ फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन इट now we are going to see concepts of distance and displacement for this let's take one example rajesh is at point a and he wants to go to his house which is at point d so rajesh travels a distance ab to B C to C D, and so the distance traversed by Rajesh is A B plus B C plus C D. That is three hundred meter plus seven hundred meter plus five hundred meter, and so total distance traversed by Rajesh in this case is one thousand five hundred meter. But the displacement of rajesh from point a to point d is 1000 meter because displacement is the minimum distance from starting point to ending point along a straight line so displacement of rajesh is 1000 meter distance we have seen distance traversed by rajesh is equal to ab plus bc plus cd so it is 300 meter plus 700 meter plus 500 meter is equal to 1500 meter and displacement of rajesh is ad it is 1000 meter ad is the minimum distance along a straight line from point a to point d which is his house distance the length of the route actually traversed by a moving body irrespective of the direction is called distance in distance the direction is not taken into account so distance is a scalar quantity distance traversed by rajesh is equal to ab plus bc plus cd and it is 1500 meter displacement the minimum distance traversed by a moving body in one direction from the original point to to reach the final point is called displacement ad is the minimum distance along a straight line from point a to his house d so displacement of rajesh is ad is equal to 1000 meter in displacement both distance and direction are taken into account therefore displacement is a vector quantity the unit of measurement of distance and displacement is same and it is meter in si or mks system now next concepts speed and velocity speed the distance 
traversed by an object in unit time is called the speed of that object now formula for calculating speed is speed is equal to distance upon total time when speed is taken into account the direction is not specified therefore speed is a scalar quantity the unit of measurement of speed is meter per second velocity the velocity is the distance traversed by a body in a specific direction in unit time it's called the velocity of that object now formula for calculating velocity is velocity is equal to displacement upon period of time required for displacement velocity is a vector quantity the unit of measurement of velocity is meter per second now average velocity and instantaneous velocity the velocity of an object can change even while it is moving along a straight line we can calculate average velocity by using the formula average velocity equal displacement upon total time now instantaneous velocity the velocity at a particular moment of time is called the instantaneous velocity it may be different at different times now we are taking one example suppose that a truck is covering a distance of 40 km from point a to point d in a straight line its displacement from a to d is 40 km and it requires 1 hour for this now average velocity of this truck is displacement upon total time it is 40 upon 1 means 40 km per hour so average velocity of truck is 40 km per hour velocity is different in different segments of the road ab bc and cd because the distance and time required for it is different in these segments we can see he has traveled distance ab which is 10 km in 10 minutes distance bc which is 10 km in 20 minutes and distance cd which is 20 km in 30 minutes and so velocity will be different now velocity for distance ab is equal to displacement upon total time so displacement of ab is 10 km and time is 10 minutes 10 km upon 10 minutes is equal to 60 km per hour in this way we can find out velocity for distance bc and cd velocity for distance bc is 30 km per hour velocity for distance cd is 40 km per hour so we can see velocity for distance ab distance bc and distance cd is different thus velocity is different in different segments of the road ab bc and cd and instantaneous velocity can be different at different times next concept is acceleration the change in velocity 
with reference to time is called acceleration. You know that the truck driver increases or decreases the velocity of the truck by means of accelerator. On a football ground, the players changes the direction of the ball by kicking it. When its direction changes, the velocity of the ball changes. That we can say an acceleration takes place. The interaction that brings about the acceleration is called force. Force acts on a body and then acceleration means change in velocity takes place. The change in velocity with reference to time is called acceleration. Formula for acceleration. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time taken for change. Unit of acceleration. Now unit for velocity is meter per second and unit for time is second. And so unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Next concept is force. The interaction that brings about the acceleration is called force. Due to force, there is change in the velocity of an object. Force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. So formula of force is force is equal mass into acceleration. Force is a vector quantity. The scientist Sir Isaac Newton studied force and the resulting acceleration for first time. Newton's first law of motion. If no force is working on a body, its velocity does not change. It means the body will not show acceleration. In other words, we can say, if a body is stationary, it will remain stationary. And if it is in motion, it will continue moving with the same velocity and in the same direction. If the force acting on the object is zero, then its acceleration is also zero. Newton if 1 kilogram standard weight is placed on a surface with no friction and pulled it with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square, then the force applied is called 1 Newton. Force, displacement, energy and work. Now, we are going to see the relationship between the force displacement and work. W is equal to F into S. Here W is equal to work. F is force applied to the body and S is displacement of the body that take place in the direction of the force. So we can say work is equal to force into displacement. In SI system, the unit of work is Joule, which is represented as capital J. The unit of force is Newton and it is represented by capital N. The unit of displacement is meter and it is represented by small m. In CGS system, the unit of work is erg. Energy. The capacity to do work is called energy. Energy is a scalar quantity. The unit of energy in 
एस आई सिस्टीम इज जूल एंड इन सी जी एस सिस्टीम इज अर्ग नव रिकैप द फैक्टर क्वांटिटीज एंड स्केलर क्वांटिटीज वी हैव सीन इन दिस चैप्टर आर वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज आर डिस्प्लेसमेंट फोर्स वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन एंड स्केलर क्वांटिटीज आर स्पीड डिस्टेंस वर्क एंड एनर्जी थैंक यू